I'm going to start this tutorial with a joke about an animator and a mathematician because of course I am. I say, I say, I say, what's the shortest path between two points? A straight line. First pose, anticipation, smear frame, reaction, second pose. <laughs> this joke will continue after the tutorial. While smear frames are the reserve of the cell animator and their digital derivatives, that is so not true. Carry on. Anticipation and reaction are principles we all follow. The digital derivatives will be supporting smear frames on the flower pot on Friday. The most obvious example of anticipation is before jumping, we duck. We start going up by going down. And then there's a similar duck at the end of the jump, which is called reaction or overshoot. Anticipation reaction also appear in small actions as well, like moving your hand while you're talking. Okay, so now I've explained the joke. I've sold you on an anticipation and overshoot. Can, Can we, we automate, automate it? it? Well, yeah. Okay, I'm going to do this with the Suzanne monkey head and I'm going to do it in 720p. Right, so I'm going to start off by pressing record. And now every time I move Suzanne, or for that matter anything else, it will create a keyframe. So I'm going to go to frame 50. I'm going to grab her to there, G for grab. I'm going to go to frame 60, G for grab again. And then I'm going to go halfway between because animators abhor straight lines and I'm going to grab her again. thus creating a nice curved movement. So now I'm also going to drag this up and use the graph editor so we can see what's going on. And now I'm going to create a new keyframe at frame 40. Just going to do with my hand off the mouse. I'm just going to press G return. So it's not actually moved, it is creating a new keyframe. And I'm going to do the same on frame 70. So why did I do that? It hasn't really added anything. Well, not yet, but if I go key, handle type, automatic, whoa, we get a nice little anticipation there. Well, I think that's that done. I can jump back into doing the joke now. This is going to be a well short tutorial. Yes, this is on a surface 2D or otherwise with significant curvature. A straight line may not be the shortest distance if we were on the surface of a sphere, a torus, a Möbius strip, a Klein bottle, a hyperbolic paraboloid, uh, like a sheet with a wormhole. Oh, so we're working in 3D then. That means I can't use smear frames.